Welcome back, YouTubers. My name is Lone Wolf, and this is a game called Spirit Fair. I saw it, and it actually looks like a pretty lovely game. Like, far towards the line of innocence. It's kind of a river of sticks kind of feel to it, at least from what I can tell, so. For some odd reason, that took a very long time, and I had to sign up for something. I don't really appreciate that, so that's strike number one for this game, but I let it slide. Aww, that's an adorable little kid. So I assume that's death. I like these graphics. This is uh, done on the Unity engine. I don't remember. Or by Unity. I don't know. I don't remember. Ah, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that you would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. The Spirit Fair. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. That's actually pretty close. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid that you... I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. I see. You too share the burden that me and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit there. Your task will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. We'll have to help them fulfill the, uh, their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Whew. The big round, round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests can get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Let me turn this down a little bit. Because in some points it looks like it peaks a little too high. And then at some points it looks like it doesn't bake at all, so I don't, I don't fucking know. Maybe that should be it? Because I want you guys to hear the music, but I don't want... We'll, we'll keep it. 37 should be good. Here's something I need to give you. Dude, my phone just keeps fucking pulling up. Now be really careful with it. It is the Everlight, the symbol of our status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you? <coughs> oh, how highly inappropriate. <coughs> well, that settles it. Sorry, this is rough on my voice. The Everlights will help you throughout your travels. 
It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Is but a f hope is but the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of the lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep focused. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit forever. After all. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Excuse me. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella. And good luck, you will need it. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. But thank God he is dead, because his voice was fucking rough. <coughs> All that went hurt in ways I can't explain. Mostly because it'll sound inappropriate. And here we go! Oh, it's already been 10 minutes. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot I had to freaking sign up for some shit. A to jump, A to jump higher. Mm. Stella! It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look hey. at you. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Well, we'll have to find a lint roller then. Ah, uh, it might not be that obvious hey. after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means... Oh, you are the new spirit fair. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, maybe not sardines. Uh, I do actually. I had sardines. I actually do like them. They're not bad, uh, if you get the right kinds. I don't remember what kind I had, though. They were good. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Of course. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how to match her, her voice. See that boat over there? I think it's a little bit deeper than where I'm going. But I don't want it to be like my own voice. Hey. That's the one. Hey. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it'll work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Ladies. Uh, here. 
Um, these are going to be short as well. As every other video ever, always. Because nobody watches my 40 minute long videos anyways. And when they do, they get up to 5 minutes. So, Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Oh, you're a lioness. Or a, a deer. What the fuck am I saying? Uh, or there'd be a fawn. No, fawn's the baby. Oh. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now, don't you think? Good. And as you're the as you're the spirit fair, welcome strays is your new job. Stray spirits is your job. And once abroad, once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory, anyways. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. I do. Yes. Hug. Aww. Aww. Much better. Come with me now. So wait, why did I have to be? Because when I when I signed up for this, it said I had to be fourteen, or right, or at least fourteen. What? This is like the cutest fucking game ever. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Food? Hmm. Oh, and you're happy. Ish. Mm -hmm. Couch. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. You're right, you're right. Okay. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. Beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. Mm. Maybe I can do that, boys. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this. Or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet me. Meet mm -hmm. Albert. He's your local shipwright. And he jokes. Uh, and his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We We should have head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Yeah. It's really easy, actually. There. Let me give you this key I found on this island. It will unlock the cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning on an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. and, and you know. I plan things meticulously, very meticulously. Go upon, go open up the that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert Shipyard. Oh man, I'll be thankful. I'll be thankful for a man's voice. Not gonna lie. No offense. I'm kind of a dude. Kind of a little bit. I guess it's not weird. I don't really give a fuck. But, I don't know. It's not necessarily difficult. Or not necessarily easy. The ever doors right over there. And you, my shark friend, must be Albert. Let's go. Ooh, I got a bed. Captain's quarters. Lovely. Stella, I understand the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. Also, It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, 
It's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Charon, the Overdoor, the Spirit Fairs, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of all this. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know how. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Hmm. Huh? I don't know. Huh? Um. Oh, that little bar up at the top is where we're at. The bird just flew and hit the window, and it just fucking slaughtered all over. Here we are. Oh, no, no, fucking. Now head to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Go. Cool. Is there something shiny in here? No. Oh. Just dust. Oh. Um. Child overboard? Oh, okay. Well, how do I go aboard? Oh, I gotta go. Ah. Nifty. I like how she just knows how to do that as an oar. That wasn't said in the beginning, was it? Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. I got that voice pretty good. Or my price is our customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been been here in business of in the in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new ship spirit fairer? Well of course you are. Anyway, You've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ah, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Jaren was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything, but the customer's always right, so I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard, but don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's, let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. Rawr, 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 rawr. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird, this bird will be replendent again. Resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blue bread table. Since this is your day, and I'm feeling generous, I'll help. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> I'll offer it to you, free of charge. Find you. It's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality, but the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price. You'll want to buy them all almost immediately. 
simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Cool. Um, upgrade the fucking ship. Yes. And intrepid, intrepid. That was a really dumb thing to say, now, wasn't it? Beginner. Can't do that. Cool. Does that mean you cleaned up my fucking ship? <laughs> there you go. You'll be able to build and edit your boat buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers, mate. Uh, cool. I guess that was all I had to do. Hey there. Hey there. Good. Albert gave it to you for free. And he said he loaned the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table in above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any buildings and get back res resources. Resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here, or whatever the fuck she said. I would love to, but I forgot how to open things there for a moment. In here? Nope. Here. Nope. That's not it. Um. Uh, here? Nope. Yes. There we go. Edit. Okay. Uh, unsolvable. Uh oh. Place swap salvage. Oh, cool. Wonderful. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amen am amenity. Anemonemonemonemonty. Mm -hmm. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep? Not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are plenty, but the wood is stiff. And the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and end that one off right there. So, this is a fucking adorable game. I actually might play a little bit more of this. Um, I'm not quite sure. I haven't decided yet. I've already done, what, this makes eight or nine videos today so far. Um, you know work tomorrow so i'm trying to get in that grind oh man i think this makes nine now it's trying to do 14 but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make it for that yeah, it's a hefty one um but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did like comment subscribe bell button all those fancy bells and those fancy little whistles i'll catch you guys in the next video bye